We are going to make a color story. And my first tip to you is just choose one color in the beginning. Just one main color to work with and then the story begins. If you are a person who like creative content, you are at the right place. Today I'm going to place this beauty here. And that is what this video is about. How to choose the colors and you can see close up how I am adding the colors to this one. We will also go out and see when it has been burned and see what the amazing result will be. So I can't wait until we see that. I have already uh, burned this one here at 920 degrees. So it is this quiet. So it's only the last process that we are doing now. And that's the most exciting process, I think. Today's color team is green. It will be in different nuances of green and there will be a little touch of yellow also. Some white and maybe a little bit of blue. Let's see how it turns out. My second tip to you is to Choose a base color, a color that can go to the color you have chosen for your theme. It can be a neutral color, so it doesn't take so much focus. It should just be something that fills out the place. And for this purpose, I have chosen this patina green color, as you can see here. I will use that color both inside and outside. This base color will frame the artwork. And by using the same base color on all the ball, I'm making sure that it's not getting too messy and confusion with colors. I'm trying to make my color story as simple as possible. My third tip is to choose a dominant color. And it's the color that you really see, the color that you ha have focused on. And it's often the brightest color of them all. I have chosen this malachite green for this purpose. And I am placing it in a central place of my artwork. It doesn't have to be much because it is so dominant. But still it should be seen but not take all the picture. My fourth tip is to choose a support color and the support color can help the dominant color and the base color. It is kind of in between these two and they are connecting the two colors and making a kind of nice surrounding around the main color, the dominant color. And you can see I'm making dribbles here to see if we can make some effect on this ball here. I'm trying to make some exciting things on the ball so it has a story. My support color here is granite green and is also kind of neutral. My fifth tip is to make nuances in the color team. And I'm doing that with adding some white to my base color and to the other colors. In that way, I can make it a little bit lighter where I want it. And by using the base color or other colors, the other colors, I can make it darker if I want. So I'm trying to make different nuances all over the ball. Inside the ball, I'm using the same colors as outside. And with the same principles, like I'm using the dominant color and also I'm using some support colors. Or in this case here, I'm using white to surround the green. Also here, I'm trying to make the dribbles. The next tip is to have an excitement color. I have chosen the yellow one. The excitement color is to bring life into the whole vase or to the whole artwork. It can give the viewer something to think about. Why is this color here? 
but still it goes along with the other colors you have chosen. Just a little touch of this excitement color is enough. And right now I'm finishing it off by using the transparent color where I have my pattern. I'm doing that both in the top and the bottom of this bowl. So now it's soon finished. After this it will dry up and then it can go to the kiln and be burned in 1220 degrees. We will do that tonight so tomorrow morning we can see the final result. And remember, I'm not a pro in this. What I'm telling you about all this color is just how I am making my color story. And I hope that can inspire you. And maybe you have some other way you do it. And I really like to hear that. So please comment below and let me hear how you are doing it. So now it has been glazed both inside and outside. It's transparent at the top and the different colors on the outside and inside. And it's so exciting to see how it will turn out because I think you can imagine how it will be, but the result often a bit different than you think it will be. We will see that tomorrow. Setting the temperature, 1220 degrees. In. So now we have started the frying. Good morning. This is a little bit of a gray day. But inside here, we have something exciting to see how it turned out. Let's see, the temperature is under 200, so we can have a little quick look now. Oh, wow, that looks promising. It's a little bit difficult to really see the colors, but I do see some greens. Oh, I can't wait to get it up to see it properly, but it is too warm still. So, yes, we will be back in a moment. I think it's very beautiful. I, I really love these green colors. It's a bit darker. The malachite green than I had expected, but I think it's beautiful, and I also like the dribbles down in the in the malachite, like I tried to do with the glazing and the and also. But I will show you. I will make some pictures at the end of the video, so you really can see it all the way around. But now it's very exciting. We are going to open to take the lid off right now. It's stuck because I have in the in the firing so we have to crack it open and i can't wait to see how it looks like inside come on down well let's see how it looks like inside Ooh, now it's cracked open and i have my gloves on because it's about 80 degrees now look at the lid i think it's beautiful and that's with the malachite inside and i I think that's quite beautiful. So now you can just lean back and see the result of what we have been making. <laughs> 